Hey, what's going on guys? Bright Watch Lawn Service here, back with another video. And today guys, I actually got a new demo, as you can already tell from the title of this video, as well as what's right behind me here. It's the 52 inch Right Stander X. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so this is actually a brand new Wright Stander X, it's a 52 inch mower, and this is a demo, I did not buy this, it's a demo currently that I'll have for about a week or so, um, I actually got the demo, it has 24 hours on it, so we'll see how many it has when I'm done with it, um, however though, I have to say, initial impressions on it, which is what this video is going to be about, uh, well, actually, let me get right into it. So, guys, I have some initial impressions and thoughts on this thing. First of all, I have to say, I like the color. The color is nice and bright and really gets people's attention to get calls. So that's always a good thing. Also, another initial impression is this muffler guard here just looks boss. It looks really cool. Definitely overkill, but it's nice to keep people from touching the muffler there. But also, it just adds to the visual appeal of the mower, and I think it looks very nice. Now, another thing that I noticed right off the bat is this is a 52 inch, just like my Skag. However, the wheelbase on this is much shorter. Standing on this machine here, I can already tell it just doesn't stick out quite as far. Um, it feels much more compact. It's obviously just as wide, only from front of the mower to the back of the mower, it's definitely a bit shorter. When I do the final thoughts and opinions on this, I'll be sure to pull uh, this and the Skag. I got by, by, side by side so you guys can see the difference. Another thing about this that's different than my Skag is actually going to be the tire size. Um, they are a little bit smaller and they're Carlisle tires rather than Grassmasters which I currently have. I've not been super happy with my Grassmaster tires so I'll be interested to give these ones a shot and see how they work out. Another thing that I've noticed guys which is different from my Skag is obviously going to be these controls. You have uh, front and back controls that are connected. You guys can see they both move in sync there. And now my Skag would actually have a solid bar back here. These would be the control levers right here, and then a solid bar up front. Now one thing I've actually noticed right off the bat with this thing is going to be the uh, deck adjuster, which I love compared to the Skag. So right off the bat, I noticed that the uh, deck pull is extremely light, and as you guys can see, the engine is moving up and down with the deck. It's attached to the deck, so I'll be curious to see how that affects the performance of the machine. But um, with the deck adjustment here, there's springs, unlike my Skag, so even with the engine attached, it is so much lighter to pull. The gas tank and battery are on exact opposite sides of the Skag, so I'll see if that makes any difference, but the gas meter is still just as readable. The only issue with this setup right here is the gas tank is actually about three gallons smaller than the Skag. Now with having the exact same engine that my Skag has and the exact same deck size, I'm guessing that I'll be needing to fill this up more often, which is kind of going to be a pain, but we'll have to see. Another thing right off the bat that I like more than the Skag, fr from the factory I should say, is going to be this chute blocker. The Skag came with a hard plastic one, and if you hit something, it would just snap or break. However, this one here is a nice soft thing, and just from using it and putting it in the trailer and beginning to put it up, it just molded and bent right into shape, um, and it was able to get in the trailer no problem. So kudos to Wright for putting on a soft flap rather than a hard plastic one. Another initial impression I get from this machine here is actually going to be the anti scalp wheels. The setup basically exactly the same as a Skag. The only difference being is there is one on this side here and there is not one over here. Whereas a Skag has them on both sides. So with the extra weight of the engine being on there, I'll be curious to see if that plays a role in yards getting scalped or not. Now another thing I actually noticed with this, right whenever uh, the demo guy actually pulled it out of the trailer, is going to be on the deck. See that? There's a metal bar here uh, between the rest of the deck and the pulleys. And I'll be curious to see, I know with my Skag when I'm running, my front caster wheel picks up a lot of grass, throws it on the deck, and always gets held right there, right around the pulleys. So even though these uh, you know covers here for the pulleys don't come off as easy as the Skags probably would, I'll be curious to see if with having that bar up front there, if it keeps all the grass from getting in the pulleys. I also wanted to mention real quick, another thing is actually gonna be the deck. Um, this is both the outside and the inside, but as you can see, um, the deck is flat on top like most mowers, but in the back here, it actually curves down to where it comes into the back. Now I'm not sure if you can see this here, but in the back, or in the inside, it does the same exact thing. It starts off flat up here, and then it actually ends up curving down towards the back. 
The front here also is not overly baffled, so I'll be curious to see how it does compared to the Skag in that sense, because I know that my Skag has baffles that stick out flat along here, probably about an inch or an inch and a half, all the way along pretty much, and that is a serious grass catch. So I'll be curious to see if not having baffles makes a big difference. Now another really cool thing I've noticed about this mower so far for initial impressions is actually going to be also have to do with the uh, deck lever here, and that is, unlike the Skag, you can stop it at any point here um, in the whole range of motion, without having to put the pin in. So for example, all I have to do is pull back, press the button, let it go down, if I let go of the button, it clicks in place at any point along here, which is super cool and super helpful, because with the Skag, all you can do is have it all the way up or all the way down to the pin. There's no in-between options. Whereas this, if you just want to move it up a notch or two, that's all you have to do. It's really cool and efficient, and I think that that's probably going to be pretty helpful with daily mowing. But yeah guys, other than that, I mean really, this thing is actually pretty similar to the Skag since the VY2 was redesigned to be more like these right mowers. So I'll be interested to see how it compares against it. It's really the only mower that I can compare it to currently, as uh, the Skag is really the only commercial mower I've owned. I also used to have a bad boy stand-on mower, but I did not have that for long. It wasn't very good, and it's not even worth comparing to that, honestly. But yeah guys, so this is a new demo for the week. I'll be sure to make some mowing footage on it. And after the week-long demo, I'll pull it back up here in the driveway and I'll give a thoughts and overview and I'll compare it directly to the Skag side by side and show you exactly what the differences are and what I think of this mower versus the Skag. But yeah guys, so huge thanks to Ken, the demo guy that brought this out for me, as well as to Judith Roth, who uh, brought this out for me as well to demo. She rode along with Ken. It was super cool to be able to meet both of them. And actually, Ken's the one that did the demo for the Skag V-Ride 2 for me. So it was cool seeing them both, and uh, I'm really looking forward to demoing this machine. I also have to say, thanks for the super sweet hat as well. It's definitely a new one added to the collection, and it's not dirty, so I have a new one to wear around town. But anyways, guys, here it is. Brand new Wright Stander X. Um, looking forward to demoing this machine and seeing how exactly this performs against the Skag. And I'll be sure to give you guys my honest, unbiased opinion. And I'm curious to find out, is Wright mowers just the hype? Or are they actually hot machines and they're actually pretty good? I don't know. We'll find out in this next week's demo. And actually after this one's done, I'll also be getting the uh, Wright Standard ZK. I think the 61 inch is what I'm getting. Hopefully with the 37 EFI engine on it. And I'll really be curious to see how that one performs as well. Anyways guys, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see the future footage of this machine in action. As always guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you all want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.